Hello! So in this video I wanted to share with you a really cute story that I stumbled across at our local library, Little Bird's Bad Word, that I thought was worth sharing for families that are trying to find ways to help their kids weed swearing out of their language. Maybe they overheard mom or dad say something, maybe they picked up bad language at school. Um, what I really like about this book is that it helps to address the idea of hurtful words rather than just swearing. And I think it's a good fit for whatever the swearing culture is for your family or your community, your geographical culture. Um, Cause I have come across the full spectrum of swearing is fine. You don't ever swear everything in between. And just when you recognize in your family cultural context that a bad word or bad words, bad language has surfaced, this is a great conversation starter and I'm a big fan of using kids books to help adults as well, um, using them in the workplace for example, just because kids books so commonly, so often, uh, take complex subjects that could be complicated and just make them super simple. Right. That's how we can deal with that. So in Little Bird's Bad Word, I think one of the first things that I love is the dedication. Uh, it's for dad from whom I learned many words. So there's some family history here. Uh, and we have the story of Little Bird who's flying with his dad. Dinner or lunch is extra wriggly today. And so dad drops it and lark. So we have Daddy Bird dropping a word and Little Bird picking it up. Blark, blark, blark. And Little Bird travels around to all of his friends and all these different, you know, other critters in the forest. Uh, and parents know all about the, oh yeah, that word that they picked up, they used it in front of grandma or they used it in front of their teacher. That was very exciting. So, you know, here is Little Bird going off and Frog was startled. We have Blark, Moose was speechless. And this is how I picture most grandparents' reactions. Blark, blark, fish and ladybug were not amused. So we have the different reactions to that language and even including, and I love the fact that they're showing different reactions. Some are kind of angry, some are pulling back, some are really shocked or surprised. And with his little friend Turtle, when he says the word, then his friend kind of withdraws. He doesn't like that. It kind of scares him. So you see the full range of reactions that people can have to bad language or swearing. And we also have the innocence captured in this book of the fact that Little Bird is starting to pick up on people's reactions and is realizing the reactions are bad. Maybe the word is bad. Oh no, have I been using a bad word? And the solution of how to move forward from there is provided by dad, the one who's responsible for dropping the word in the first place. And he is saying to everybody, you know, little bird means well, but he's learning that words can be hurtful. And Papa apologizes, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. And then sorry ends up being the word that little bird picks up from there. So we see little bird going then and using that new word instead and helping to make things right, realizing that the word that he was using earlier was hurtful. And so that helps to repair things with his friend Turtle. And with that little extra sense of humor, because humor absolutely helps with driving a lesson home. It's not too serious. We can see, you know what? Life is funny. The worm got captured and blark. <laughs> so it's so simple and yet it has a really powerful lesson packed in here about the fact that language can be hurtful. And when we realize that our words, whatever word we used and whatever our context, if that word was hurtful to somebody or that language was hurtful, we have the ability to say sorry. And that helps to get things back on track, provide healing. And sorry is always going to be a constructive word. Um, good tool in our toolbox for when we're connecting with people. So anyways, just really enjoyed it. So that is Little Bird's Bad Word by Jacob Grant. And I hope that that's a helpful tool for you. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I put new videos out. And I just hope you have a fabulous day. All the best.